Hello there, everyone. Wave goodbye to the repeat loser. There was a repeat loser over there. Hi, welcome back for some more Kugetsu Toya. We are continuing on with um, stuff. There's many things that are apparently going to happen in this game, and we got a lot of them last time that I still can't wrap my head around. Um, so, one thing that I was told thanks to the people in the comments, is that there are actually more scenes to get uh, with that safe that we unlocked, which is interesting. Seems like it's Schrodinger's safe, where until the contents are observed, they are constantly in flux, which is scary. Uh, we still only have about four of those. We'll get to those, as I said, later. But for now, let's uh, let's go check out some more of those scenes then. So I was told to uh, stay at the mansion. Was it stay? Actually, wait, was it stay at the mansion or was it go? Let me actually pull it up and check because uh, I want to get the exact instructions for this. I'm pulling them up. Let me see here. Of course, opening up Chrome and a recording system and everything at once is like painfully slow, man. You know how it is. Uh, so, it says here, uh, by Stray Meridak, says, Stay at the mansion, leave the mansion, go to Ark, leave Ark, return to the mansion, help Kohaku. Okay. So, stay at the mansion. Oh. Well, this is new. What I'm saying is that scallop butter saute goes well with burgundy. No. Even though it's French, I prefer Bordeaux. Uh, Polingi leaves a bad aftertaste. Oh, they're talking about wine preferences. Is that so? I think that red wine would be better than white wine. Well, Hisui's taste is weird. With that, the three of them eye each other. Seriously, even though it's only morning tea time, there's unnecessary tension. Ah, who cares? Tastes dependent on the individual. It doesn't matter as long as it tastes good. Uh-oh. Oh, you don't say that to wine people. Oh, the three of them are adamant about taste. You talk to a wine person and they'll... Wine people are the same type of people who say like... You know when you talk to a gamer and they say, Oh, the game isn't fun. It's like, okay, then why are you playing it? It's the same thing. Like, wine could be disgusting. But it's like... The prestige of it. I my, my grandpa like brought open like this a hundred year old like liquor and he's like, oh you gotta try this is gonna be great. And I'm, I'm just, I, I took a sip and I'm like it tastes like dust. What the hell? It's not good. He's like, well it's not meant to be good. It's meant to be special. And I'm like, that's stupid. That's stupid. I don't like that. If it doesn't taste good, why bother? Right? When they talk about it to me, it sounds like some occult incantation, so it bores me. Really, even though you can't cook, you demand quite a lot of Kiha. What? Excuse me? Recently I've been making scrambled eggs. What are you talking about, Shiki-san? There's no reason a Kiyasama would be in the kitchen, you know, aside from having life skills. Or if she needs to be alone. She's the head of the household. It wouldn't be exemplary for her to be in the kitchen. Is this progressive or not, I can't tell. Well... I guess what you say is true. Ikea goes quiet with a troubled expression. Rather than insisting that she can cook a little now, she probably decided to go along with Kohaku-san for the time being. Her pride is overbearing. I wouldn't be surprised if the first meal cooked by Ikea comes this way, if and only if she beats even Kohaku-san at cooking. Ah oh, well, doesn't matter. But why are you talking about wine? Are you perhaps planning another party? If you're going to drink like an alcoholic, Ikea, you better raise Kohaku-san's and... Hisui's wages. Oh, you guys don't get paid, huh? The two send each other some strange signals I can't understand. Recently, Hisui and Kohaku-san seem to be communicating telepathically. You know, that thing that twins apparently can do. No matter how much I want to know what they're saying, it's impossible. Please don't act out of your place. And please call me a connoisseur and not an alcoholic. I actually enjoy as I drink. No, underage drinking is illegal. I have to ask, do you think I'm a fool, Nissan? 
How can I? I thought maybe you didn't know your age, so as an older person, I thought I would remind you. Anyway, why did you all start talking about wine? If you're gonna declare today a party day, then I'm escaping to the Arahikos. The Arahikos? Arahikos. Oh? Then we'll call Inui-san and party. Oh, yo, it- Yo, Arahiko would get mad crunk. Kawaku-san said such a ridiculous thing with a smile. Forget it. If you do, then before you know it, Arkwood and Seal Senpai will be here too. And the morning after will be unspeakable. Seems like I had a dream like that or something. No, I haven't had that. Personally, I want to see a panorama of it, but that just cannot happen. Shikisama, that is not the case. Alcohol was brought up because the cat in the courtyard seems to be drinking alcohol. I feel like that will kill a cat. Uh, it's the first time I've heard of it. There's a cat in the courtyard? Yes, it came a few days ago. All the cats before took a liking to alcohol, so I put out a small bowl of wine and it seemed to like it. Hisui, you are going to kill these cats. Is that so? Maybe it likes Hisui. When a Kia Samurai approach it, it runs away. Hmm. A wild animal knows instinctively who is dangerous. I'm impressed. Hmm. Nisan, what did you mean by that? Agreed. I cannot let that go. As I previously agreed upon, the two glare at me. No, oh, that is... I'm so dead. I did say something without thinking. What if we punish so early in the morning? Alright, morning choices. So we are going to head out in the streets. Skip. We're going to go to Arkwood's place. Streets morning to Arkwood's room. Skip. Streets morning Arkwood's room. Skip. So... This is when we now, we leave and go back. Nah, I'll pass. I came here just after waking up, so I can't sleep anymore. Suppressing my lust. Oh, right, because legs, 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 legs. I reply with a reasonable answer. Yeah, you might be right. Ark would have sense. She comes weak when I speak with reason. All right, I'll let you go. It won't have any meaning if I can't sleep with you. Ah, but it'll be different when I want to sleep with you. I won't back out then. Hmm. She pouts her lips and falls asleep immediately. I step out of the room, careful not to wake Arkwood. The sunlight blinds my eyes. The sun above my head feels good in its own way. Maybe I'll go for a stroll. Changing my plans, I decide to stroll in the park until lunchtime comes. Okay. I don't know if this is the... Okay, streets noon what to do. Skip. I'll return to the mansion. Maybe I'll return for now. Kuaku-san will probably make lunch at the mansion. I'll spend the afternoon with the other three. Well, I'm refreshed. After a deep breath, I start heading back to the mansion. Okay, mansion moon, noon free moment. Mansion lunch. Okay, so now we go to the safe. Help Kohaku-san with the safe. Okay. The hardest obstacle main story, the unopenable safe. Skip. Mansion afternoon, saved open, skip. Huh? I catch myself letting out an uncontrolled shout. In the old picture is a young version of me, and the place is the inner courtyard. From the state of the pictures in, I would guess it's about eight years old, but... Why is it Arkuid? Why? I tilt my head and... Kawaku-san wordlessly looks at the picture. Even if you say that, not minding the number of contradictions, the young Arkowitz looks so cute I want to rub her cheeks. She seems to have had long hair when she was young. Imagining it flowing in the wind, it feels like it would have been very refreshing. This has so many contradictions. The soft cheeks and the face that seems to be waiting happily for a kiss are unworldly cute. Uh, maybe this is fine too. Forgetting that Kohaku signs behind my back, I say what's on my mind. Why this song? Ah, no, 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 Kohaku san, that's. What, what should I say? This is a bad joke or some weird alternate reality. She. It's unexpected, Shiki san. Even though you were young, you weren't around giving kisses to anyone, and you ended up bringing Arkwood san to the mansion. It's quite shocking. Ah, uh, what should I tell Kihasama about this? She says a ridiculously scary thing and sighs heavily. Wait! You're mistaken! Really, this isn't true! 
It's some trickery by Arquid. Most definitely. Well, since it seems to have been planned out rather thoroughly, it could have been the person standing in front of me right now rather than Arquid. She popped open like the uh, the N64 paint studio for the for the N64 DD and just photoshopped it. Really, that won't do, Shiki-san. Trying to blame others for your fault? For a kiss maniac like you who goes around giving kisses with any second thought? Without any end? I don't know where it came from, but she holds a rope that, when pulled, makes a clank and opens up the floor below me. Are we gonna die? Ah! Dislikable development! I'm gonna scream that from now on. Really, I'm telling you this, but there's no way I would give a kiss to just anyone. Well, I could have kissed Akia or Hisu on the forehead, but this really isn't my doing. Please don't pull on that rope. If you do, it leads straight to a bad end. I'm sorry, but I have to punish you. You seem to go to Arkwood sans place in the morning and, and come back to the mansion and need punishment. Swoosh, the rope gets pulled. Clank. The floor I was standing on cleanly disappears. Ah, this development is just as I expected! Shoo! Falling into the hole created at my feet. It's okay, there should be a mat at the bottom. Kawaku-san's peaceful voice sounds. Right, if there's a mat, then I might at least not get hurt. Even though it's an electric mosquito catcher, Matt. Wah! That's really not funny, you know! I do my best squirming around, but my falling speed doesn't decrease. I really might be dying this time. It's not skipping, which is interesting. When I wake up, I find myself in the basement. Ah, maybe I hit my spine on the way down, but my whole body's creaking. Damn it, this really is the basement. Okay, wipe my forehead, clang. Okay, wait, let's, let's... Must be Kohaku-san's doing. It's cold. I shiver as I hug myself. Clang, the heavy sound depresses me. This is way beyond child's play. I'll probably go insane if I spend more than a day here. Try to smash it with a stone. Okay. Uh, but maybe... But someone sang a song about the basement is safe. Maybe that'll become my theme song. I really must get out of it with the sun sets. I look around to find an octopus rock. There could be a knife. Simple found one. Uh, but what do I do now? The chains aren't destroyed by the rock. Why did I... Okay. I won't do shiki -san. Can't think such dangerous thoughts. Kohaku-san. Yes, thank you for waiting. Please wait a moment. I'll open it shortly. Prison opens up. I'm glad. Even though this joke's in bad state, it's still a joke, eh? Wait a second. Yeah, what are you holding, Kawaku san What do you mean, what? It's needle time. It hurts my heart to do this, but it can't be helped. Since you didn't sincerely reflect back on your actions, I have to give this medicine to make you listen better. Lies, lies, Kawaku san you look so happy. I think this is the same. Okay. Okay. But why, why is it not skipping? Maybe maybe they are re treated as different scenes. Shiki-san, can you hear me now? This is your room. Please don't ever go out. Okay. No, nothing's different. Repeat again. Weird that that one doesn't get covered. Okay, that was... Unexpected. What's the message? 27 Dead Apostle Ancestor Series. Oh! Inashi! We heard it, but we saw him. We saw the, the Forest of Anashi in um, the El Malloy Chronicles, or El Malloy Case Files. I always want to say Chronicles. He used to be a normal dead apostle. The current Anashi is of the second generation. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we do have one more. Uh, for another rare scene, repeat all the steps and help Hisui or Akiha instead. Oh. Oh god, we have a lot of stuff we can do with going to Arquid and coming back. Are you serious? Oh, we, we oh we can get the the death via Arquid existing arc. Okay, so we stay at the mansion. Skip, skip, skip. Going out. Skip, Arquid. Skip, skip. Need to come down and go back. Skip, skip. Return to the mansion. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, so this time let's find Hisui. Alright, I've decided my course of action for the afternoon. I'll move quickly to execute my plan. Get on through. Trudge, trudge, trudge. I walk to the destination at my fastest pace. Lobbies inside Tono... Sh Lobbies inside Tono Shiki walks. That is a nonsensical sentence. There's something wrong with the grammar, 
but there's no time to care about such details? Okay, for once it's intentional. Hisui just ran to the library. Oh, Ko oh, Koaka-san's voice comes from outside. Ah, she jumped from the window to the first floor. Hisui, you do it too. Koaka-san's order that comes from outside defies all sensibility. What the, as I'm about to look out from the lobby. That's dangerous. Get back, Shikisama. With that shout, someone sprints down from the eastern hallway. Powerful. The shock causes my lunch to visit my esophagus again. You, 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 what are you doing? My voice stops. If I do ask, I think I'll be cursed for my many days on end. Hello, Shikisama. How are you feeling? With a pretended voice, Arkwood lightly grabs my shirt's hem. Oh, Shikisama, don't you like this look? You seem to like it an awful lot when you force history to wear it, you... You... You weren't sleeping in your room or something? Yeah, I woke up, so I came to visit. Hisui was changing clothes, so I took my chance. I've always wanted to try it. Arkwood happily looks down at her maid uniform. Well, this is one way to get her into our house, and... From the same hallway, Arkwood sprinted out of quieter, more careful footsteps come this way. Shiki-sama, please restrain that person. Ah, uh, already caught up. Then Shiki-sama, if you need anything, please call. Arkwood bows and runs up the stairs. Her skirt flutters flirtatiously. Uh, totally different from Hisui. I love it so much. Oh my god. You are so cute! Shiki-sama, where did that person go? Hisui comes in the lobby breathing heavily. Hisui is wearing Arkwood's clothes. They seem to be too big for Hisui. Oh, the neck is especially loose and it is unbelievably cute. Hisui, that's... I opened my mouth. Then... Hisui, I can't see you. Where did you go? Kohaku-san couch shouts through the speakers. And then... Uh, I can't watch this anymore. I'll give the order, so Kohaku, please go in. You two will chase after the thieving cat. The murderous intent in Kia's voice. Okay, I see. It's a little tough to tell who's speaking at times. Shiki-sama, please answer. Where did Arkowitz-san go? Uh, she went up, but Hisui... Before that... Shiki-sama, I'm sorry. Until Nei-san and I catch her, we can't be of any help to you. She shoots a sharp glance up to the second floor and sprints up. What are you doing, Hisui Kohaku? There's a gun father used to use under the roof. Oh, is that is gonna be, gonna be the spaz again? I don't care. Open fire. I will not forgive you if you let this chance go to waste. Suddenly, the commanding voice of Akia gives out absolute commands and directs the battlefield. The mansion suddenly turned into an amusement park. But what's going on? Alone in the lobby, all I could do is mutter those words. What the frick? Skip. Go out to eat. Alright, skip. Messiah. Nope, nothing new. Skip. Oh? And so my long day ends. I dumbly stare at the ceiling from my bed. I can't fight off the tiredness as I lie down. But before that... And there's something I need to do. Something missing inside. Something I forgot to say. Something I must definitely do. That is... Um... Another dream, maybe? Huh? What am I suddenly thinking about? There isn't anyone who would visit at such a time, but if there were, then that would be... What? Oh, wait. Is this sex? Is this must be awkward. Yeah, think about it. I had a dream like that a long time ago. I recall a horrible memory. Ah, no, not horrible per se. More like a little thankful. But still, perverted dreams are bad for the body. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, have, have I accidentally entered into these sexy times? Really, how am I to face the person after I have such a dream? I scratch my head as I lay down on my bed. Oh god. I close my eyes. Such lowly dreams, I'll seek repentance for them. Uh, but it might be okay if it's not something in the old repertoire. Uh, I said something really disturbing. As I mutter that, I fall into the depths of sleep. Please. Oh no. Oh, we're good? We're good? 
No, 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 no sexy times. That's good. We get Satoya production notes. We definitely want to do histories and Kohaku's threesome age scene. Of course. Even though it turned out much smaller than originally planned, we did it. It's Moe Moe. Moe Moe. Okay. Oh, God. Did I accidentally turn on sex mode? Uh oh. Oh, go. No, we're good. I saw the fade to white, and I'm like, what's happening? All right, so we're going to do the same thing, but this time, this time we're going to go see Akiha. So stay at the mansion. And now we're going to go to, uh, I'm going out, skip, Arkwood's place, skip. I wonder if going to different people will also bring them back. Maybe. I don't know. Calm down and go back. Skip. Skip. Turn to the mansion. Skip, skip, skip. This time, let's go see Akiha. Heavy attack. Made arc and arc history. Tono family's day of big battle. Oh, so it's the same thing. Skip. Oh, is it the same? Oh, it's the same. Okay. Um. Let's see at the mansion. Skip, skip, skip. Um. Okay, maybe I should just leave these alone. I don't know. CL Senpai. The five main first five main characters of Tsukihime. Weird. Weird. Okay, so that was the exact same scene. Okay. Character personal data number four. History. March twelfth, blood type B. Height and weight. Bust seventy six. Wow. I actually have no idea how big that is. Uh, honestly, those 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 three sizes, they mean very little to me. All right, was that the last one there? Um, uh, this time, stay at the mansion and help Hisui, then help Kohaku. Okay, last one. Last mansion scene, or last uh, safe scene. So, all right, skip and skip. Stay at the mansion. Skip, skip, skip. I'll help Hisui. Oh boy. That's a scene named Skip, 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 Kohaku. Skip, Skip. Ah, that's what I was expecting. Ah, I catch myself letting out a shout. The old picture definitely shows me and that child. It's the inner courtyard illuminated by the sunlight coming through the leaves. Before a current relationship was formed when the boy and the girl were friends and spent many days together. But still, she has a special place in me. She held out a hand for the young Tonoshiki, the red-haired girl who always smiled and led me. It feels nostalgic. A single old picture. But this is the only picture that holds memories of that time. Ah, uh, but... This is the thing Kohaku-san was looking for? I guess I kind of want to keep it myself, too. Kohaku-san, this... Can I have it? I swallow my words before they come out. Kawaku-san's eyes are watering up. Oh, she suddenly turns her head away and then smiles as if nothing had happened. Kawaku-san, that's... <laughs> Sorry. I was a little out of it for a moment. Oh? Kawaku-san tried to pass it off as if it were nothing, but... Since it's not like her to do so, it took me a while to realize it. This old, decaying picture... Is what she's been looking for all this time. Kawaku-san, this picture... Won't you take care of it? I think I'll lose it, and I don't have an album either. Uh, no, that won't do. This is Shiki-san's and Hisui's picture. One of you two has to have it. It's not for me to take possession of. That is, please take care of it until I at least buy an album. Uh, but since it's embarrassing, please keep it a secret from Akia and Hisui. Hmm, if possible, let's keep this a secret between the two of us. That's... it's kind of a cruel thing to say, dude. Kwaku-san doesn't say anything. Even if I keep on insisting, I don't know if she'll accept the picture. To Kwaku-san, this is Hisui's precious memory, so she knows that Hisui needs to have it. But all the more that's true, this is also the dream she wanted. When she was young, she looked at Hisui, realizing it cannot come true. Hisui is what she wanted to become. Kwaku-san, please take care of this. Once more, I offer the old picture to her. 
Kakusan again looks as if she's about to cry and then... Okay then. I'll take really good care of it. She hesitantly holds the picture in both hands. And she brings the picture to her chest. Then I'll go. I'll be back in the living room. Or I'll be, uh, then I'll go. I'll be back in the living room when it's time for dinner. Uh, thank you, Shiki-san. I wave my hand at Kohaku-san as I leave the room. That's... Again, tremendously cruel to do. Alright, so let's go to... Mark 2? Nope. Okay. All right, well, that's that. Thank you, Stray Meridak, for sending me down these, uh, these, these routes. Because, dang, it's, uh, it's a lot. Anyways, today's horoscope here and there. And everywhere. Um, okay. So, let's go to a day. What else can we do, I wonder? Uh, I might just, just just search around for a bit. Let's stay at the mansion. Let's go. You know what? Let's know. Well, we can still go out. Let's go out. I want to see if we can bring... Okay, we still haven't gone to CL Senpai's place. But let's visit Arahiko. Yeah, this is new. I wait a few minutes after ringing the bell. Yo, a new Arahiko sprite. Uh, who, ye, who be ye? And with a relaxed voice, Arahiko comes out. Guess greeting matters, minus 100 points. Uh, it's only you? Damn, I was thinking it could be Mimi-chan or something. Sorry about that, but wasn't that a little rude just now? <laughs> it's okay. Mimi-chan's nice, so she won't pretend to be a careless boy and make someone else breakfast for him. It's good that he can be happy, but it's way past breakfast time. So what is it? Need some today? Is it the portable stove or a carrot? I was going to ask who in the right mind would come to a friend who lives so far away to borrow a portable stove, but I give up. It's a long life. Who knows whether it actually might happen or not. For example, in the Sachin scenario that didn't get included this time. What the frick? That's super rude, bro! That's the, that's the first time we have Sachin be mentioned, and it's him saying, <laughs> looking at the camera and saying, like, that's... That's literally him looking at the camera and going like, Hey, you know that's Sachin? Yeah, we're not doing that. Pusha. Wow. Wow. Yoshiki's kind of a jerk this time. Nah, I just came to visit. Maybe play a game of Mahjong or something. You got that sexy strip Mahjong for the Super Nintendo. But Arhiko, do you have something planned? No. <laughs> Two males playing Mahjong on a holiday. <laughs> Our future's dark. Idiot, two females playing with John's pretty dark too. You're so stupid. <laughs> Wise words. Well, it can't be helped. All right. Maybe today I'll defeat you so decisively you can't ever pick up the pieces again. If it actually makes me play Mahjong, I'm screwed. He laughs hardly. It looks like he's actually looking forward to the game. Well, then let's go. Well, then let's go. Repo D for drink is fine, right? No. Repo D is for when winning becomes hard. Coffee for normal playing. But is Ichigo-san sleeping? No, uh, she's out. Thankfully, we don't have to play a boring game with three persons. Right. I guess today we'll play in your room. Okay, then I'll move the table to... He stops and hits his forehead. Sorry. Wait a sec. Oh, right. Don't... Does... does it, don't... Didn't he say that there's someone staying with them? Slam, the door closes. Hurried footsteps up the stairs. Is he cleaning away his porno mags? I swear to God. Hey, horse, come out. Uh, hello. It's not hello. I told you to get out of this room. Right. We heard about the horse. What does that mean? Oh, it hurts. It hurts. You're cruel, Arahiko-san. If you pull my ear, it'll get long. It already has. Since you're awake, get out. Uh, no, I don't want to. I want to sleep more. Sleep more, idiot. You out of your mind? The sound of kicking. What is happening? Arhiko-san's violent. You have to respect the basic rights of a human. Don't be ridiculous. If I respect your human rights, then the whole pyramid scheme will come tumbling down. Oh no. Oh no, did Arhiko start taking part of an MLM? Is he in multi-level marketing? Is he gonna make smoothie shops that can't legally say they're smoothie shops? Now it's the sound of hitting and kicking. It's too much, too much, really. I don't have anywhere else to go other than this place. 
I didn't tell you to go out. Just for today, go to Ichigo's room. Ichigo's. Ah, that won't do. Ichigo-san's room smells of smoke. Oh, <laughs> see? Even thinking about it is bad for your health. You... Don't pretend to be sick. I kind of knew it, but you licked me, didn't you? What is happening? Yes, I did some secret tasting when you were asleep. He 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 he. I have no freaking idea who this character is. A strangely chilling laugh. You, 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 you. Don't say such unlucky things. That you did it, it can't be ignored. But it's true. Uh, please don't worry. You get so fiery on whim that your meat's tough. It's second rate. And since I'm a connoisseur, I'll have to cancel on you. What the frick? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm definitely killing you today. And something goes flying. It's true that human anger, once all consumed, blows up in flames and bits. What the frick? Go in. And never open the closet. I can't be responsible for whatever comes out. And with that, Arihiko puts down the mahjong table. I can't even if I wanted to. There's a freaking drawer in front of it. Alright. Oh, I changed the furniture arrangement a little. Just now. Right. But now you can't use the closet. It seems to be very inefficient. It's alright. The thing inside is worthless anyway. The inside of the closet shakes. Arhiko. What? I'm asking this as a friend, but... You didn't do something that would attract the police, did you? Like when someone calls the police, a girl pops out of your house or something. No, actually I want some protection by the police myself. I don't know whether he understood me, but he replies sincerely. I'm concerned. Mahjong game between two persons isn't Mahjong. Mahjong is a real-time game where four pe persons try to best the rest. It's a game where one is out on one's own, but it's three enemies. The fact it's not cooperative is Mahjong's discerning feature. Well, there are cooperations, but that's only one strategy, so it's an exception. Anyway, four is the ideal number of p persons to play Mahjong. This game between the two of us isn't a real fight. It's more like training. Of course, today's game is no exception. You're still stingy, Tono. We're not even betting, can't you play lightly? Think you're the only one who waits until the opponent becomes rich to use the trump card. Excuse me? Then I look like a coward. I pick my time and place too. For example, I use my hidden cards only when the opponent is cornered and you can't do anything else. Ugh, then... Do you mean that you're gonna go down with me holding all- with- by me holding Chun all along? Well, that also depends on the time and place. Well, if my hand turns out perfect, it could be fun to disturb your hand. The largest part of betting skills is bluffing. If there's no justifiable reward, then there's no meaning. Oh, you put down an earth, eh? Once the end is near, you turn so suddenly. <laughs> really, Mahjong really reveals a person's real personality. It's not because it's getting to the end. All gambling does that. I suppose Mahjong differs in the time it takes to complete the game. Actually, it's almost like fortune telling. Oh! Does that mean it doesn't matter whether it lands or not? It depends on your own luck? Then you must be rich! Ah, uh, depending on your luck is in fortune telling. Fortune telling is just preparation for luck. But, uh, you have that much without even trying. But before my sumo, that effort is wasted. Why do I only now get sumo? Well, and that's the end. 2,000 points just from Chitoitsu. I let my hand fall. Really, whenever I play, every round turns out to be Toitsu. Only Chitoitsu or Toitsu come up to make the game not Mahjong. Ugh, that's cheap. You made so much, you should have been more aggressive. What's with that lame Chitoitsu? And you ate up all the chun, too. Eh, it's usual to eat it up. Well, let's clean up now. Nothing to be gotten out of the round. I suppose it did ch uh, train us a bit, though. All right, all right. That's good. But, training? Is there a big match you're working up to? No, we decided to give up on gambling in middle school. Ever since then, I haven't gambled. Right. Then, why are you training? Huh? It's not a... Or, it's not a... You look like you came to get your feel back for a big match later. 
Right, now that I look about it, I think I did bet on something. Hold on. I think I might get it. I try to hold on to every last bit of memory from yesterday. I think in the mansion, I was facing a key and the others on the table. Nah, it can't be. A key wouldn't possibly play Mahjong with me. I actually doubt she could even play Trump. I make my conclusion, but... Huh? I heard a key is really strong in Mahjong. He destroys my conclusion so easily. Uh, lies? A key, huh? It's a key, huh? Why would she know such a vulgar thing like such as Mahjong? No, that's... I think it was popular in the dorms. I heard she joined one of the traditional clubs for Mahjong or Baccarat. Well, that can't be. Asagami Academy is famous, damn it! Akiha playing Mahjong? Don't destroy my image of the innocent Akiha. What do you mean the innocent Akiha? You know her. Don't, 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 don't. My request echoes pathetically. And looking at me in this state is... Yeah. You're going through a lot. He sincerely says and pats my shoulder. So we're just not going to address the person in the closet? Okay. I leave Arahiko's house. It feels like I've lost something valuable. But think that playing with Hisui, Kohakusan, and Kia would be a good idea. Well, that's a flag that we unlocked. Streets noon, what to do? Um, let's stay in the streets a bit longer. Oh, this is new. I lean on the bench and remain in the same place. Holiday morning. The park is lively with people. Parents and children, couples, kids playing together. A more peaceful moment cannot be imagined. The blue sky looks like it was sculpted to perfection and the pouring sunlight has no flaws. All complaints of the world seem superficial. One cannot imagine such a thing in this scene. What am I thinking? I'm confused by my own thoughts. But now that I said it, that feeling of danger lingers. Danger. Yeah. Feeling of danger. Myself, who cannot remember yesterday. A feeling of deja vu that I already saw this scene. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling, bro. I don't know how many times it's been repeated or will be repeated. Well, there's no pain, but only happiness, so I'm not complaining too much. If I'm in this garden of perfection, wouldn't I be feeling the full force of disappointment when I reach the exit? Hmm. Maybe I'm depressed. It's probably because of my faulty memory. I can't do anything if I linger on this bench doing nothing. Well then, where should I go? Uh, we went to the main road last time, right? So let's go to the intersection. I come to find myself heading toward the main road. I was going to the intersection, but why? I tell my head left and right, yeah, what? I really know myself. I feel like resisting the movement of my body that brought me here without thinking. There isn't much at the intersection either, but... Wait a minute. Just now that crowd was something that should not have been there. That person. The feeling of my heart being put in a blender. My rhythmically beating heart pants and feels claustrophobic inside the plastic casing. This is impossible. But it wasn't my eyes hallucinating. There's no way that I can mistake his form. Wait. My legs start moving. He looks and recognizes me. After recognizing me, he leads me on. <sighs> my mouth turns into a twisted shape. Alright, if he leads me on, then I'll accept without refusing. Who is this? There's a couple people it could be. He laughs disturbingly and slides into the alleyway. Ah, uh, it's indeed like that. There's only one reason he would appear, and since it's like that, there's only one place that would be suitable. Well then? Of course. Let's continue what we couldn't finish, killer. Oh boy. He stares this way. The extremely chilling shape thirsting for blood. I definitely won't become like him. Wonder how that'll work out. He laughs. He's ready, reading my thoughts. Your fear is always looking forward to reviving itself. As long as I live. You. Knife. It's in my pocket. I grab it. He also grabs his knife in reverse. And then what afterwards, Tono Shiki? Afterwards. Afterwards? What's he talking about? As long as he wields the knife, there's only one. The only thing to do is to bring down the enemy. There's nothing more to prepare. 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 Nothing more to... Wait. Just now. What was that a natural line? Oh my god. This is the first time we're actually seeing the lines. 
What am I forgetting? Oh, you're helping us remember our lines. Really? If you're not in your world, you can't exert your presence. What is he talking about? I feel nauseous. A headache follows. Anemia again. How did I forget? This body's so close to death and the former death so repugnant. Is time up in this place too? I must defeat you before the world collapses totally. If you consider me a killer as well, then call me out to a suitable place. Oh. I'll wait for you in the world of shadows. He suddenly disappears, and with that... I'll take off my glasses. Like watercolor paint melting, the alley melts. Ugh! It's a dead end, too. There's nothing in front. That's a dead end physically, but also dead end in another sense. There's no more time. In essence, here's the end of the world as well. If I don't snap out of it, I'll be caught in the end of the day. And it's almost evening. Ah, that was fun. I feel like I've relaxed enough to last me a year. It's good to roam the streets freely alone sometimes. I went to the game center, then explored a bookstore like, and shopped around the clothing store to scout out what I need for winter, sunbathed in the park, and then to end it all, I went to a tea store to look over the books I bought today. Huh? When did I buy books? Uh, and in addition, I thought there was something that unmistakable that happened before I went to the game center. Well, it's alright. I can't remember, I can't be that too important. Before that, the most pressing problem of the moment is dinner. If I don't start heading back to the mansion, then I might not get anything. So I wonder if now we need to go to the bed and try to remember there. Turning home right before dinner. Mansion sunset, which cooking. Ah, uh, dinner at the mansion's fine. Skip. After dinner. Night choices. Okay. Something I'm forgetting. Yeah, this is new. A few inconsistencies flash through my head. The forgotten yesterday. Happenings I don't remember. But... As if agreed upon beforehand, no one questions it. The killer out in the streets. He exists only as a rumor. He has no reality. This is Tonoshiki's nightmare. He's a nightmare I subconsciously fear and try to forget. Then what is here? If a nightmare takes form, then this can't be reality. It would only be logical that the place where a dream can take form is inside a dream. Nightmare. It's a nightmare. A nightmare that plopped down in this otherwise perfect dream. Didn't he say so? No matter whether he is host or a guest, if he is dragged in, he is, has a nightmare. I remember. Yes. I remembered. Why did I forget? Why have I not remembered it? This is a dream. A dream I'm dreaming. Maybe that's something I realized the moment this repetition started. But why? Why am I dreaming these dreams? Why do I forget the truths I realize when morning comes? The bell sounds. That's because the child is doing her very best to keep this world running. Fatigue overwhelms me. Fatigue surpassing anything else. It is strong enough to turn off Tonoshiki with a simple click. A simple yet irresistible fatigue. But I don't feel any danger. Probably because this fatigue doesn't intend it. I don't know why the child is doing this. But I don't think it's evil for an, but it's for an evil reason. But the end is near. Even though I'll forget tomorrow, Tonoshiki fully realized the truth of this act. Since I've already experienced it, it's a truth that cannot be erased even if I forget. So the end is near. The act, this act is full of holes. With the slightest push of a button, the dream might be over. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we have achieved one of the important flags, right? Get to toy production notes. This time we received lots of fan works. Thank you all. So. Let me just see here. Did we get a new dream? No. What if we go to help? Let's see if there's anything new here. Because we advanced a lot, right? Uh, second lesson. Oh, lect lecture on the middle section. Oh, is it? Isn't this the part where Shiki slowly starts to meet girls in various locations? Yeah? <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, you demon cat over there putting poison on your claws is dangerous, so please stop. Now that it's time for the second lesson, players who reach this point should have realized that Twilight Grass Moon is largely divided into three, three sections, those being the school mansion and street sections. 
Out of these, the one that changes the most is School, and the one that has the least impact is Mansion. These routes are further divided into morning, afternoon, then dinner and sleep. Hmm, it's basic, yeah? Then please choose which lesson you want. Are you advanced and only want to get some hints, or are you a novice who needs a straight answer? Which, okay, let's go expert. I don't want a straight answer. Ah, the expert course, eh? The points of the third stage are as follows. To remember what you've forgotten, done that. To take interest in things like the end of the world and the killer. To have a date with the lovely senpai. That's an order, soldier. Where's the murder scene? And that's it. Nya nya ha 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 ha. Chieru, the writing on the board is a spelling error, nya? Uh, ah, it's a natural error, that person. Agreed. It'll be a good lesson. Well then, uh, the points we need to go over today are... Yes, what is your question, Monster Cat-san? Um, it's about the choices at night, but does it matter whether you choose this or that? That's only because you don't have enough points. After you go through a fair amount of days, it'll be good to choose the same choice again. Especially the choices at night change frequently, so they can be considered milestones of your progress. Then, point number three. What's this about going on a date with a cute, elegant, white, peerless heroine? I have never said such a thing, but going on a date with a lovely senpai is very important. And you'll also be able to view someone else's nightmare. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter what you did in the dark, in, in your dark age, Nya Chieru. Anyway, I've had more appearances in Toya than you, Nya. I had more event CGs than development phase too. But now there are only two sprites of Dark CL. Oh my god, we get to see Dark CL, that's amazing. I have four myself and even three event CGs. The difference is incomparable. Nah, it must be a little sad to compare after two popularity polls, Nya. Eat shoosh. Well, then today's lesson is now over. See you again in the next one. Oh my god, we get to see Dark CL. I'm very excited. Teach me, Arc Sensei. This song is so bad. Ah, uh, it really hurts to have the black keys stuck in the back of my head. Might has suddenly become my corner. Yeah. Having a, have a strong mind that doesn't think about difficulties or hardships. Not in today's advice. If you talk to a Kiha at school or to, uh, to Kohaku, then the Tono family's bad rumor points increase. But when night comes... Oh, nya, 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 nya. If you talk to a Kiha at school or to Kohaku, figure that out on your own as you play it through, nya. Three of them. Okay, interesting. So school should change a lot, huh? Okay, let's go to school. Um, any, okay, new, new Inui scene. Arahiko's house, eh? But why? I wonder myself as I head over to Arahiko's without any particular reason. I do sometimes visit after school to pass time, but in the morning? Well, I guess once in a while it won't hurt. Life is interesting because of these random impulses. I want to know who the horse is. If it's a thing that we never know, we never learn about, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna eat away at me. So here I am, the house of the shy and happy Inui Arhiko kun. A ding dong, the doorbell rings, and after a few minutes, it looks like no one will come out. Is he not in? Arhiko, where is he staying now? I stand there for about thirty seconds and decide to go to school. What is it? Just now, there was a loud noise from the second floor. Sound as if something fell, maybe a burglar. Some weird noise or a cabinet falling. Is this house safe? I put my hands on the door handle. No, oh, it's open. I open it all the way. It's unfortunate, but now the minute I should check things out. Maybe a burglar came in while Arahiko's absent. If the burglar were to steal Ichigo-san's precious panda guitar, then it'll be the end of Arahiko. I should look around for Arahiko. As a friend. What am I talking about? It's so unlike me. I excuse myself into the house. I've been in this house many times while he was gone, so it doesn't feel natural at all. Then to the second floor, the origin of the noise. The stairs creak under my feet, but I make it to the second floor. On the second floor is only Arihiko's room in a storage room. Some sort of wrestling noise. It's coming from Arihiko's room. Uh, there's definitely something going on. I don't like it. From the sound, I would say it's like a two meter tall roach. And since it is Arihiko's room after all, a magical beast might pop out too. Rustle, 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 click. Rustle, 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 munch, munch, swallow. Ah, water, rustle, rustle, swallow. Was there a word mixed in there? Maybe a talking roach? <laughs> Even Nero wouldn't have such a thing. 
I really don't like it. Maybe it'll eat me as soon as I open the door. I gather up my courage to put my hand on the door handle. And one, two, three! Oh. I don't know what to say. Is that me or them? Wow, that's a lot of A's. Oh, it's both of us. Oh, oh, we're doing a we're doing a funny cartoon moment. <laughs> I'm not doing this. With unnatural speed, I escape the abyss. Well, that explains that. What are you doing, Arima? Ah, another weird mo. Oh no, ain't you go, son? Yeah, it's not a weird monster. <laughs> really. I catch my breath again and calm down. Well, okay, well, we know what the horse is. It's that character that I've seen art of that I still don't know who they are. So what did the idiot do this time? It looks like she just came home from work. Uh, no, it's... I thought I saw a white spirit. Did Arahiko-kun do something recently? Maybe he hit a horse or a cow with a motorcycle or a truck? I asked too, but he said she's innocent. Uh, if you've seen it too, then this might be troublesome. With that, she boldly steps into the house. Ichigo-san, are you going in? It's my house. I can't sleep unless I go in. And that won't do any harm to you, so don't worry. It only harms Arahiko, it seems. Ha! <laughs> only Arahiko, eh? I don't know what's going on and don't want to. I wonder what he'll say. His hobby's changed, huh? It's a hobby that makes me worry as a family member. She waves and disappears. Then I'll just forget about this and go to school. School homeroom. Today's lesson plan. We're going to skip. And it's still a cultural festival, baby. What's our class doing? The movie theater, Planetarium. The theater is the one with the least risk. The boys are against the tea house idea, and the girls are against the costume rental shop. I'll stay on the middle ground and go with the theater. There can't possibly be any racism this way. I've decided. Let's go with the theater. I raise my hand and voice my vote. Ah, as expected. Right, a theater will be without complaints. Boys and girls agree. Well, staff number can be kept low, and it'll be best to go with the theater to enjoy the festival the most. Well, then we can give out cake and juice we made for the tea house. We can show movies in the planetarium in turns. It should be really popular that way. Oh, we're aiming high. All the classmates seem energetic. In addition, the movie we're playing today is the one provided to us by Yuji-san. All right, since it's decided, the staff should report to the main headquarter. We have an hour before the opening, so we need to hurry if we don't want to be late. Mr. Kunihuji hurries us on. And with that, all of us who have been relaxing up until now become active and start rearranging the classroom. It's kind of boring to do a movie, honestly. Festival start, uh, this time, second floor, third year class. Hmm, this is amazing. The moment I walk down the stairway, the commotion and the heat become solid and brush against my skin. The hallway is packed full of people, people and more people. All the guests seem to be concentrated on this floor, and as usual, people in casual clothes clearly out the way the ones in school uniform. And senpai's classes... I walk down the hallway that I've met, uh, I've walked down many times before. Senpai's class is doing a casino. With many games prepared, the students are actually dressed up in casino uniforms. Oh my god, I gotta see these. Of course, they're not gambling money. Rather, they're trading free festival tickets for chips and prizes for chips. This class is rumored to have many gamblers, and the dealers certainly demonstrate this fact. Ah, oh, but the commotion maker isn't here. The female student with glasses who is said to have never lost at blackjack and steal free meal tickets for curry during lunchtime isn't here. Excuse me, where's CL Senpai? Ask a bunny san who's transporting some juice. And bunny san says, She should be with the student government, which is doing the play in the afternoon. She should be at their meeting right now. Bunny san says this all with seductive lips with red lipstick. I. Okay, a lot of the student stuff, it's like, yeah, I could see them doing this. This seems like a big problem. Right, you said you'd be with the student government, senpai. If that's so, then I must change my plans for the morning and afternoon. I'll hop out the class in the morning and take a break in the afternoon to look at the student government's play. No, it's unfortunate, but that cannot be Tonokun. Uh, Senpai. Hi. I'm sorry you were expecting to see the play, but even if you try this and that and pull many springs, you can't watch the student government play because... 
Xiao Senpai really takes her time to say her words, but no matter how long I wait, the rest of the sentence doesn't come out. Uh, Senpai? What, what comes after that? <laughs> Are you worried, Tonokun? She laughs a soundless laugh. <laughs> if you say that, then yes, I'm worried. And why can't I watch the play? It's been done away with. Curtly and somehow happily, after drawing it out for so long, she says that. Huh? Done away with? What do you... Do you really want me to say it, Tonokun? I love this sprite. I'm sorry! I'm just kidding. I won't burden you just because my role was cut. She looks embarrassed. But why has the background music been so foreboding? R right. The play is no more. Judging from the fact that you're so embarrassed by it, does it mean it's suddenly been cancelled? Yes. It was sudden. It was cancelled a week before completion. It was a great shock, actually. Something like getting KO'd in the first round of fighting by a super rare special move. Uh, she seems mad. She went around saying that she'll be in the student government's play. Looks like CL Senpai fans will have an uprising soon enough. But, well... It can't be helped. I'm in fifth place. I couldn't even get in the top three during the second round either. Oh, she's talking about the popularity poll. It's only natural that I get pushed off by Hisui-san or Akiha-san. Senpai, y you don't have to be so pessimistic. You have other roles. Like making a cross counter? Or putting a store out of business? What was that image? I can't add anything to that. This time around, Kohaku-san and Senpai are... How do I say this? Uh, senpai, it's regrettable that it was cut, but... Won't you at least tell me about it? What was the student government planning? That's... A play with a princess in it. I wear a long wig and play a princess of a small country under war. See how Senpai looks embarrassed as if the play were stupid. Heh. <laughs> a princess dress. I really wanted to see. If Arkwit is white, then Senpai is probably a blue princess. Not a robe or an assassin's clothing, but a dress. Isn't that nice? Why did such a thing have to be cut? I don't know. Maybe because the day is in 25 hours? At first the adults started out with event CGs, but since they got really tiring they moved on to sprites, but after drawing oh so many it was a bit too much. And then they said, oh well, it's only CL, and gave up. No. It's so pathetic, I don't know what to do. So, Senpai, what was the title of the play? Huh? Title? Yeah, right, title. I at least want to interpolate the content from the title. SB, Princess of Curry. She looks away and speaks embarrassedly. Ah, uh, for some reason I think I can see why it was cut. Uh, senpai then... Oh no! Why has she got an umbrella inside? That's bad luck! Ah, uh, it started raining. Excuse me. Senpai, it's not raining. It doesn't matter, Tonokun. Out of all the characters, only Kohaku-san and I have props in their sprites. <laughs> what? But it's inside! Senpai, it's inside! Holding an umbrella, Senpai disappears very quickly. She's gone. But in reality, Senpai... This time, a lot of people are holding things. But... SB Princess of Curry? I imagine the content sealed away by the title. Anyway, there's only one thing I can conclude. SB probably means spicy beef, or something like that. I feel like I'm going insane. Anyways, let's help the class. See, the afternoon strolls are different, so that'll be something to do later. And so I ended up helping the movie theater planetarium. To help a movie theater run is to laze around. The most one needs to do is change the film and announce the cleaning. After the movies are over, a girl does the narration, so I only need to stare blankly at the screen. You. You dare betray us? What? Ah, it's the preview following the feature presentation. On the screen is a male noble fainting from a gunshot wound. What are you talking about? From the beginning, we were not trustworthy. Blam blam, a shotgun rings out. The surprised noble's face, and the birds that take to the air. Uh, isn't it the norm for things like bats to fly about? So, for what are you taking revenge, vampire? The scene changes. In a hotel room in the countryside, a very delinquent-looking student speaks, and the other replies, I don't know, after a long pause. 
No, you can't think about things like that. Slam! The door closes. The sarcastic teenager looks disinterested as he throws a knife at the screen. Shoo! The screen goes black and some weird title like Two Day is displayed. <laughs> it's a terrible title. It's like a photocopy. Each succeeding one loses accuracy, and they are not an exception. The youngest one, something that resembles a portable lock, is talking. There is no one opposing. I guess the fact that a lock is talking is weird, so it makes sense no one be allowed around to listen to it either. In other words, all the other truths- Ah, uh, excuse me! Don't say that word! It was a different time, I'm not gonna say that word. Isn't a true ancestor supposed to be exclusive? Anyway, he put himself to the extreme. Looks like I've been totally fooled. A man in priest's robe talks, and in front is a female in a priest's robe. Including me, there are six ancestors. All the requirements are excellent, too. This way, six kingdoms will mobilize. Shoo! A black wind rises up and changes the scene again. After a few intricate title cards, the move title is displayed in a grand way. The messed up gag troop returns even more messed up. Are you ready? 20 hours of playtime per heroine and a total of 5 hours predicted. Start collecting your medals today. Tsukihime 2. The Dark 6. Release date, not a clue. Release date, not. Ta-da, with the last fanfare, the screen goes blank. The first showing in the afternoon is now over and the guests have changed. Two more showings to go. I can't deny it's boring, but waiting for the campfire this relaxedly is not too bad. Yeah, Tsukihime 2, more like Tsukihime... Not happening. But not knowing anything, I acted on my own. Okay, festival finale, skip. Repeat again. Okay. Well, this was full of some... Interesting things. Woo! Stroll! Yay, 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 yay! Okay. Well, uh, now that we're on to, like, this second half and we got some new new scenes to see, we'll definitely be checking out uh, as many as we can, you know, as we go go about, right? Um, yeah, sounds good. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time for some more Let's Read Kagetsutoya. Bye!